Hello, I'm Ryan Clark from the Port Coquitlam Sports Alliance, and we're here to bring you insight into the world of sports locally here in our region. Today we have from TC North Basketball, the leaders of this academy, Tony Scott. Tony, welcome. Thank and you. Don Van Oss, welcome. Thanks for having me. Gentlemen, yeah. let's get right to it. Your task here, you've built this academy up new this last, this last year and a half. We have a strong basketball reputation in this area. How are you going to identify talent? What do you have to get out of the players to get them up to that top varsity level so we can continue to challenge for provincial championships? Well, I think the first thing we have to do is make sure we get them to compete and understand what competing is at a very early age in their life. Um, I, for a long time, we've had kind of passive type tre um, training programs. We're about really getting the kids to compete and develop their skills as much as possible. Sure, that makes sense. And gaining a knowledge of the game. You know, trying to get more experience, putting them in situations that uh, gives them an opportunity to uh, compete at the highest level. We like to take our kids down to the states and compete against what we consider where basketball is at a real hotbed. So when I'm a, when I'm a parent and I'm bringing my young kids to you, right from an elementary or middle school, because obviously you want to get them ready for a high school varsity so we can challenge for provincial titles, what are the skills that you're going to try to get them? I heard competition you're going to get them uh, a lot of play elsewhere. What are the fundamentals that you, that you stress that are essential for us to succeed? Kids got to be coachable. Kids got to be able to take instruction. Kids got to be able to uh, understand that uh, to, to, to play at a high level, they got to understand that you've got to be uh, allowed to be coached. And sometimes that's not pleasant for them. Sometimes they're not used to being told how to do it. And sometimes they're not used to uh, uh, being taken with the same type of intensity that, uh, that we're pushing them to have. I mean, with our experience and where we've been, um, we know what it takes. Yeah. I think a lot of time we talk about getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Everyone's comfortable doing something they can do well. Sure. We want you to get outside of that so you can explore other things that you might be capable of doing in the future or maybe immediately. But you need to get out of that comfort zone. We need to get you feeling that I'll challenge, I'll try anything to allow myself to develop in the, my skill sets. And I'm sure you guys are working both equally with both uh, girls and boys programs. Well, we, we like to try and get more girls. Yeah. That's, that's been one of our big crunches that we've tried to get girls involved, but we never have the volume, the numbers. Mm -hmm. There seems to be other programs that are, have been existed and involved in really yeah. getting a lot of the girls, and they're doing a great job. So we're not able to get that volume we really need. Yeah, we've but got a couple still, of guys that yeah. are doing a great job yeah. in, the, in the local area, and uh, um, Mike Karkner and uh, Paul Langford, yeah. uh, Mike Karkner at Poco Galaxy, and Paul runs his J Boggs program. Yeah. And they're doing a great job. Yeah. So tell me, who are, the, who are the powerhouse programs right now? You know, you'll always see teams that have a year blip here or there that excel, but who are the, who are the stalwarts? Who are the ones that we can count on to watch year in and year out of, of the strength of the, of the Tri-Cities that can challenge for provincial well, titles? Well, I think we know that for the boys, it's always been Terry Fox. They've been up there. Um, they've been well established. They've had programs for a long time. You have another program like Heritage Woods. They're starting to come up and be consistently in there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for the girls, I mean, the number one program is Riverside, for sure. Um, you have Charles Bess has had a few years running. Um, you had another program like Glen Eagles being around for a long time. So there are programs that are up there consistently, but Fraser Valley is a tough conference. Yeah, I know that, absolutely. <laughs> it's a very yeah, tough yeah. conference, I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every year, yeah. the top eight. Last year, for example, seven of the top eight are you know from the Fraser Valley. It's yeah. it's so you're 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 talking about programs that have to compete against the highest level every year just to get to the BCs. Yeah. Absolutely. What players should we be maybe keeping around? Because now the season's getting underway, uh, yeah. it's just getting going. But who are some players that we should be watching for? I like the guard up at uh, Port Moody, uh, boys team, uh, Cato Cunningham. Mm -hmm. He's a great little player, great passer, can shoot the ball. Um, yeah. He's someone I think that, uh, and I think he's a guy that uh, I think some post-secondary schools will be looking at. Yeah, you've got um, Sarah Knowles, that, mm -hmm. um, Glenn Eagle, mm -hmm. who's going to be um, probably one of the top kids in our area. Um, Kendra Sands, Kendra up Sands, at uh, Charles Bass, yeah. another girl that definitely yeah. will play at the next level. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about when you're talking about some of the players to look for. Players that will play at the next level. I think uh, Terry Fox, uh, you know, Josiah, Josiah uh, yeah. Misandra, mm -hmm. um, who just uh, is so committed to being a great player and it shows and I think he's going to be playing at sure. the next level. What do you think it's going to take to to get our players here in this district, in this region, to 
really move forward into the, into the high levels of post-secondary, whether that be at the CAS and Canadian University level or into the NCA down in the U.S.? I, what, what's it going to take? What, I, you're running a basketball academy that's developing. Yeah. Yeah. What, I, I hear competition. What are those things? What, what are you going to need to drive? Because we want to see more and more players pushing on to post-secondary. I, I think yeah. one thing that we're doing, and this is what, uh, basketball's going in a direction right now where it seems like a lot of clubs are constantly getting teams to play 70, 80 yeah. games a year. And it, to me, that's just not the direction. Mm -hmm. Kids have to be better skilled. Yeah. They have yeah. to have better uh, skill development. So before you throw them out in the competition, well, get the deep. Well, what's happening is, I mean, think about it this way. Here's a kid that goes and plays a 40-minute game, and let's assume mm -hmm. that both teams get the ball equally. Yeah. So that's 20 minutes your team has the ball. Mm -hmm. You're on a team of 10 players. So that means you're on the floor for 10 minutes. And most coaches like their point guard to have the ball. Mm -hmm. So on a 40-minute game, you are fighting for the ball for one minute. Mm -hmm. You can't develop that way. Mm -hmm. Our academy, what we want to do is we want balls in the hands of kids. Mm -hmm. And we're going to push, push, push. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a variety of, I mean, tons of different drills. But it's all going to be about skill development. Then mm -hmm. put them in competitive situations yeah. in, those, in that skill development uh, that we're trying to bring about. Now I know you guys mostly train out of Pitt River, and yeah. as well you have other gyms around yeah. the Tri-Cities. Right. Where, what can parents do? So if I'm a parent of young kids, what can I do to help my kids out? Okay, obviously I have them in the academy and they're gonna play varsity ball. Is there anything they can be doing off on their own time that's gonna help them out? Well, I think all the skills you've been taught yeah. is encourage them. Maybe go out with your son or daughter and just play and go through yeah. them. A lot of parents are sitting in watching practices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so as so they, they watch the up. practice, yeah. they can pick up stuff and reinforce what we're doing yeah. and spend the time. This is good family time, good connection time. Absolutely. Where and they can go and do as, those as things. As a you know? parent, sit down and watch basketball with them. Yeah. You can learn a ton from watching yeah. NCAA basketball, NBA yeah. basketball. Plenty on TV. Sit yeah. down, enjoy it. It's entertaining. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's something that you share as a family. I think yeah. you're absolutely right. You know, you always talk to young athletes and say, do you actually watch the sport on TV? Yeah. Great that you play it, but yeah. how much do you watch it? Yeah. That's always a good question. Yeah. That'll always tell you how interested they are as a player they're yeah. watching, and they're, yeah. that's a great yeah. time. So, as I agree, with good with for family as well. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you see this going? You've just started the academy this last year. Yeah. Where do you see it moving on to as, as you grow and evolve over the next few years? I think one of the things I want to make sure we do is as we grow is making sure we have good coaches. We're trying to get young coaches yeah. involved so former they players. former players yeah. all right so they can help these younger kids progress at a faster rate than they did all right and being involved and being connected because you know i'm one of the younger guys <laughs> to a certain degree but i mean the connection of <laughs> me with some of the players is the fact that they see that i can do some things that maybe one of our older coaches cannot do yeah doesn't mean that they have less knowledge they probably have greater knowledge than me sure. but they just get a little bit more connected so if we can get younger people involved in coaching mm -hmm. and having them develop that connection they can help these younger kids aspire to higher heights, in my mind. Right? Sure. And I think the other thing is, for our program, we talk about having good ratio time practices. Practices. I mean, yeah. like we go, I, I, like, you know, we're spending about maybe eight to ten hours a week yeah. with our kids. All right? That's a lot of time. It's not enough, but it's a lot more than some other programs who decide, well, we're going to go play all these games. Yeah. Right? So time and practice, you know, you've got to get the repetition in. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Fundamentals. And, I mean, we're going to try and do some things in our club that, uh, that will account for, like you talk about, what, what we can do. We're going, to, we're going to try and do some stuff like a three-on-three -three league. Yeah. Right. That way that'd kids got to play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, that'd kids be exciting play. And kids. it's Locally exciting. Kids, that's yeah. easy it's access fun. to go play. Absolutely. And, um, and they're, going to, they're going to have the ball all the time. That's right? great. Um, and, then, and you're asking about parents, too. And I... I think that the other thing that, that we always never want to lose sight of uh, the fact is that to play at the next level, you've got to have academics right. and never lose sight yeah. of the fact yeah. Yeah. that yeah. your education is your number one priority, yeah. probably your family, your education, and uh, that's, that's crucial. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. Gentlemen, best of luck with TC North Basketball Academy. We wish you great success. Thank you for joining us today. Tony, thank you very much Thanks. for being here. Thanks. Don, Thanks for thank you very much yeah. for Thanks being for here. Me. I'm Ryan Clark from the Port Coquitlam Sports Alliance giving you insight into the local world of sports. Thanks for joining us today here on Tri-Cities Community TV.